four crore firearms in civilian possession, a thousand four hundred arms dealers, and close to nine lakh arms license holders in Uttar Pradesh alone. India is the second most heavily armed nation in the world. Statistics that can make your blood go cold. No surprise that a gun culture is fast becoming a reality on school and college campuses in our country. In December 2007, 14-year-old Abhishek Tyagi, a student at the Yoro International School in Gurgaon, was shot dead by two of his classmates. The gun used was an imported .32 Harrison pistol that one of the boys had stolen from his father. Barely a month later, in a similar incident, a student in a government school in Madhya Pradesh used a crude weapon to kill a younger schoolmate. With several incidents of gun-related violence, many are worried. The question to ask is not why the kid took it. The question to ask is why did the dad have it? Today we are living in a world of uh, globalization and consumerism. The social norms are changing, the family values are changing, uh, the parenting models are also changing in the process. Violence at home and violent movies and video games serve to reinforce an increasingly regular attitude to guns and weapons, almost normalizing the use of violent means to end conflict. Definitely they will contribute to an extent to the behaviors you see, whether the child is in school or elsewhere. As easy access to weapons thrives in the West, everyone is worried that the trend may catch up in India when weapons fall into the wrong hands. In New Delhi, Smriti Advani.